so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem find first set bit so basically we are given an integer n the task is to return the position of first set bit found from the right side in the binary representation of the number if there is no set bit in the integer n then we need to return 0 so for example if n is equal to 18 its binary representation will be like this so if you observe from the right the first set bit means the bit which is 1 occurs at the second position from the right so our output is going to be 2 similarly for n equal to 12 its binary representation is going to be double one double zero so from the right the first set bit can be found at position 3 so my output is going to be 3 now the expected time complexity for this is order of log n and the expected space complexity for this is order of 1 so I hope you have understood the problem statement. Let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say my number is 12. So 12 can be expressed as nothing but 8 plus 4. So we can express the binary representation of 12 in this format. So this position indicates 2 to the power 0, this is 2 to the power 1, this is 2 to the power 2 and this is 2 to the power 3. Now we need to get this position, right? So how can we do this? So for that, you need to understand what is a right shift operator and what is a left shift operator okay so if we do a right shift on this what happens this will be shifted to one position to the right so 1100 zero, zero will become 110 zero, right and 0 will come after this so this 0 goes out of the boundaries this shift towards right so right shift operator basically shifts it towards the right and similarly there is one left shift operator so if we do a left shift on this so what happens this will become this okay so in the right shift you saw like it moved one step towards right and the position of this one was replaced by zero similarly in the left shift this moves to one position left and this is replaced by a zero now when we do a right shift the number gets divided by two right because if you see here what is the value of this this is nothing but 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 which is 6 right so if you divide 12 by 2 it is going to be 6 right so this is this divides a number by 2 and this multiplies a number by 2 okay so how can we get this simply we can have a variable count we can initialize this count to 1 so let's see for 12 so let's say we are at here okay count is going to be 1 we can check if this is 1 or not how can we check this basically we can do a and if we do n and 1 right so this is going to be n and if we do a and with 1 so 1100 0, 0, we do a and with 1 this is nothing but 0 right and this all positions will be 0 so our answer will be 0 but let's say if it would have been 1 so we will be getting one right so if n and one is going to be one right so what we can do we can simply return our count right because count is going to be one here so i know like the set bit position was one so we can simply return our count otherwise what we can do we can right shift our n by one so if we do a right shift on this let's say um, our original number was this okay so if we do a right shift on this this will become this count will become 2 right now again n and 1 is going to be 0 we again do a right shift this comes and count is 3 for now if we do a and with 1 our answer is going to be 1 basically and and 1 is going to be 1 so count will we can simply return count from here so we can easily find the position of the right set bit okay which is going to be 3 and we can increment our count here okay so i hope you have understood this logic basically this will take a log of n time why because every time you see we are dividing n by 2 till the point of time where my n is greater than 0 okay and in the end if we are not able to return from here we can simply return 0 okay so let's do a dry run on 12 so basically kya hoga sabse pehle count hamara 1 hoga theek hai isko hum log check karenge iske sath and karke 
बेसिकली जब एंड करेंगे तो वी विल गेट अ जीरो ठीक है तो वी कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड वी विल राइट शिफ्ट आवर एन बाई वन सो दिस विल बिकम दिस काउंट विल बी टू हेयर ठीक है यहाँ पे इनिशियली मेरा काउंट वन रहा होगा अगेन वी डू एंड वी गेट अ जीरो वी राइट शिफ्ट इट सो वी गेट दिस माई अकाउंट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री वी डू एंड विथ वन वी गेट अ वन राइट As soon as we get a one, we can simply return our count. So three is going to be my answer. ठीक है? So the time complexity for this is going to be log of n, and the space complexity is going to be order of one. Right? So I hope you have understood the approach. Let's discuss the implementation. So first of all, as you can see, we have taken a variable count which is going to be one. While n is greater than zero, we can check if n and one. ठीक है? This is the short form of writing this. So if n and one is going to be one, we can simply return our count. Otherwise, what we can do, we can right shift n by one, okay, and we can increment our count. In the end, if we are not able to return from here, we can simply return a zero. So I hope you have understood the problem. And if you have any doubts, write it down in the comments. Do like this video if you have understood. Share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.